Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Module 10, Week 10 of EDU 600. Um, as you know, we have 14 weeks in the class, so starting on Monday, which is Halloween, we start week number 10. So we are making tremendous progress. I hope you're doing okay. If not, please reach out to me. I'm, I'm here to help in any way possible. I mentioned early on in the course that my goal is to help everybody in this class succeed. I know this isn't everybody's number one favorite course of all time, although I do know that certain people love this course, but for the most part, this is, this is a challenging course for a lot of people. Um, just wanted to say everybody is doing well in the class and I appreciate the efforts. So let's get to week number 10 of 14. And in this week, we're going to be looking at non-experimental group comparisons. I'll cut just right to the chase down here. This is page from two, page 204 in our textbook. Non-experimental group comparisons investigate differences that exist between or among existing groups when there is no intervention or treatment. So we just finished experimental research. Experimental research means that there is some intervention or treatment. This is really a type of research that's looking at just what, what are the differences between two different groups or between groups, but you're not inserting. It's not, it's not an experimental approach. So what I'd like you to do is, excuse me, let me move on. Um, okay. Sorry, I get mixed up here. So here's a, I'd like you to read chapter 11, which is group comparison, participate in a discussion forum. The assignments due tomorrow night is the article capture two. This is articles four through six. It's the same as article capture one. And if you need an extra day or maybe two at the most, please let me know. Next Sunday, we have the experimental research critique. This is based on your group's work. So whatever group you are in, that's what you will write your critique on. I'll have more information. Um, well, there is more information embedded in this week's materials. So a little brief on our topic for the week. Jeff Beaudry's video on the topic. So chapter 11 provides an excellent overview and examples of this type of research. So what I'd like you to do is read the article and then come back to the voice thread presentation and analysis on this article. And I'll show you. This. So here's the, here's the voice thread, but here's the article and I'll click on that and it'll bring you to the actual article. Now I'm going to click on the voice thread. So here we are. This is a voice thread created by Jeff Beaudry. Um, this presentation is in voice thread. We've had one of these already in the class. Turn on the computer speakers and hit the play button for each message, each image. So I'm going to click on that. So here we are. We're actually in his presentation, which critiques the article that you were reading. I'll click on it. Hello. In the next few slides, we're going to be talking about group comparison studies, and specifically, we're going to be talking about an article about bullying. So when you get to the end of the first slide, you come over here and you hit the next slide. Come over, group comparison, chapter 11, hit the button. So based on the chapter. So that is the format. You go through each one of these. When it gets done, you come over, you hit the forward button, then you hit not all, not all of these images have audio to go with it. So don't worry if you run into one that doesn't, but most of them do. So that's the, the video. It's an excellent, excellent video that Jeff put together to help everybody under, understand the article, but also understand this type of research. So here's the actual article. Here's the voice thread, chapter 11 summary, walk through the group comparisons, cyberbullying, studying. 
So all of these is tied in with that actual article. Week 10 discussion. Please list and describe two concepts, ideas that helped you understand Chapter 11. And this could be something that Jeff said in his voice thread. Assignments, which are due tomorrow evening by midnight, please submit those. If you're running late or you need help with those, let me know. This is, you're submitting to me article captures for numbers four through six. Then we have the experimental critique that is due next Sunday night at midnight. And all of the information, this is very similar to your first critique, critique number one, although this one is quantitative rather than qualitative. So what I want to do is experiment, experimental critique, click on the title for additional information. I just clicked on that. Come down here, it's the same instructions. Qualitative critique guidelines are here. An exemplar is here, just click on that, and also qualitative or quantitative critique guidelines. So there's information in there. If you have any trouble accessing any of those, please let me know. So that's the experimental critique, which is due next week. So that is it for me. If you have any questions on the materials, you need any help at this point with anything in the course, please let me know. Um, next week, we will kind of be hitting the final stretch here, and I'll have a little more detail next week. There's a possibility that I will be inserting or deleting, probably deleting a little of the work next week because um, things get kind of crazy in the next few weeks. So I hope you're having a good weekend. All of the materials are visible. You can see it all. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you online.